You're watching Two for the Road. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe. And I'm Tammy. And this weekend, we're visiting Ortona Lock Campground. That's right. It's a COE located right here in Florida. Did you know there is 2,500 COE campgrounds nationwide? That's right. And we're going to put a link down below in our description that shows a map where all these parks are to help you find a place to go camping. And here is a few common questions about COE campgrounds. The first question is, what is a COE? It stands for Army Corps of Engineering. Another common question. Do you have to be in the service or formally in the service to reserve a campsite at a COE campground? No, you can reserve this online just like you do a state park. Okay, we reserved site number 34, a waterfront site right on the river. And as you can see, it is a beautiful open site with a covered picnic table, a gravel pad, living area, 30, 50 amp electric and water hookup. And it's that time of year again. The NFL preseason has begun. And whipping up tonight's dinner, some bratwurst with peppers and onions. The only wildlife you're pretty much going to see at this park are these tiny little rabbits. This was one of many. This park's pretty small, but make sure you bring your bikes. Some of the really cool features about this park is the dam and the water lock. The dam and the water lock is open to the public for a closer view of their operations. Look at all the people fishing. <laughs> Sorry, they got, they got like, just the one, they took out all three of them open because of rain. I see videos where there's only one. I saw a video where there was none. Oh, it's where I'm getting sucked in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not holding my glasses. I don't want my glasses to fall in. Yep, this one's closed. Look.
Well, we got lucky. We're actually going to witness a boat coming through the lock. Okay, for a boat to travel through the water lock from start to end, it takes about 30 minutes. So I sped the video up about eight times the speed to give you an idea and a quick shot of what it's like. how a lock is used you get boats from point a to point b that is different levels in the water and the operations are 7 to 4 30 daily Somewhere else, Hopefully huh? Hopefully they'll re intact somehow. They were totally dead. But... Okay, it's been a while, so it's time to play a round of lawn charts. We'll see who the winner is. Sure. Barely got in the screen. The game has been decided. It was a tie for the end. The next point decided the game and Tammy won by one extra point. All her <laughs> darts around the ring. They will have one extra point. Tammy is the victor, yay. And she had a little buddy cheering her on the whole time. Cotton Tail. His name is Cotton. What up, Cotton? Time to chill with some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Uh, 
Oh yeah, look at those. Let's go eat. And look at this. Every time we put the camera on Cooper, he begins to act goofy. All right, it's time to do a tour around the day use area of the park. Okay, here's something that's very unique and never seen before. It is a solar powered umbrella station with USB hookups, 110 hookups. So you can come out, charge your phones, do any work on a laptop. It's provided here at this park. It is free. And what's really cool is there is lighting underneath here. This lights up at night. So you can spend the evening hours here as well. Let's take a look at some of the ports here. That's some 110s. Here's the USB hookups. And then you got buttons here to turn on the, uh, each port. Cables with some shelters over them. Nice parking lot. And across the street, some campsites. We're gonna go over the campsites here in a little bit. Show you around the park. And right in the middle of the campground, you have this beautiful gazebo with several picnic tables. The unique feature about this gazebo is that it has electric and water, a large fire pit, and a large grill. There are two shower houses, one at each end of the campground. Here's an overhead view of the campground itself, right alongside of the water lock and the dam. The campground has 51 campsites to choose from. The sites include 30 amp service, 50 amp service, and water hookup. There is a separate dump station provided at the entrance of the park. And here's a closer look at a few of the campsites so you know what to expect when you come here. So with this being a small park, that means some of the amenities are going to be limited. So what is there to do while you stay at this park? One thing, you can bring your own motorboat and travel the uh, river. You can fish the river. Of course, you can explore the dam and the water lock. There is bike riding. You can stargaze, and also there's a very large area in the lawn behind your campsites for plenty of yard games. There's a, there's a what? Hyder Rock? Okay, it's going home day. Don't forget to help others discover this park by hitting that thumbs up button. 
Well, Tammy and I sure did enjoy this park, and we know you would too. So you should consider subscribing to our channel. You never know. We may be guilty of adding to your bucket list. And as always, thanks for watching. Shoot for the road.